Speaking of swords... Hmm. Who was talking about swords, you senile old coot? Didn't you two get into a sword fight? It's fine, I suppose. I do like swords. I'm proficient in 97 forms of swordsmanship. And as the person who can literally read brains, Ian is the one with the most senility here. Ah, uh, yes, I can recount that story if you wish. I know over 120 sword forms if you count the staff arts I know. If you swap a staff with a double-sided sword, they are essentially the same, you see. Despite my alleged senility, I remember it as clear as the cataracts in my left eye. Then regale us. Ian, as was his nature, broadcast the Mortal Kombat theme song at such decibels that I heard it walking into my dorm room, which was seven doors down. I knew that this was his way of letting me know that I had been spotted and that an attack was incoming. Well, the best defense is a good offense. If he is on edge all the time, he wouldn't have time to plan an attack against me. But I never attacked you. But you could be preparing for one. How could I know? It's hard to be prepared against an attack that could come at any minute. Which means I was the one who had to be prepared at any minute. So anyways, I ran into my room to grab my samurai sword, came out in the hallway, and of course, Chris was already at the ready with his. And then the entire dorm collapsed from both of your sheer power, I bet. No need for sarcasm, but we did knock out a ceiling panel in our duel. Yes, along with dozens of permanent indentations and marks on the wall. It was an old dorm, you see, built in the 1940s. So it wasn't much of a loss. Well, other dorm mates didn't appreciate it. Or us, for that matter. Oh, right. We got noise complaints constantly. From people actually trying to try hard study instead of having fun. The nerve! Precisely. So, anyways, Ian's sword ended up breaking, so he lost the duel. Okay, first of all, I landed a blow behind your right ear. And then, moments later, another blow behind your left ear. It was surgical. You were covered in welts. I didn't say it wasn't an epic duel. The force of our blows broke your sword. Yes, but you're leaving out the fact that it was a complete rout before my sword broke. Okay, guys, it was a cool sword fight. Relax. Yes, for me, because I won. You shamed yourself when you let your sword be broken. Your sword was broken in a sword fight. The ultimate shame. Yes, it did break. It couldn't handle my power. Yinko Rekutu. Yosa Odu Buroku. Bikazu it commits seppuku dishonorable display. Assuming a sentient sword seppuku explanation, and in that we're actually in agreement. The ultra-instinct sword technique it experienced by my hand elevated it to its final purpose previously assumed unachievable and caused deep despair at realizing there was nothing more to achieve as a conscious sword. Swords don't have sentience, you absolute Neanderthal. They have heart. You broke its heart. Shamed it. It lost the will to live. The only thing elevated was the number of pieces of sword you had. Yes, but you're leaving out context. This is how it happened. He's on the ropes, Yug! He has no chance! Joey, you moron! He's clearly landing all his blows and not getting hit by any of Ian's. But he should end this quickly, otherwise Ian will continue to think he's a rival, and they will be battling forever. So what can he do, Yugi? He has one move left to end this quickly. Wait, wait, now you're inserting a Yu-Gi-Oh! style friends group and assuming they'd be on your side? We heard your side of the story. Let me tell Patrick what actually happened. It's fine. I don't care at this point. The record matters. So here's how it was going down. So what can he do, Yugi? He has one move left to end this quickly. He does? That's great, huh? He does? What is it? Well, what is it? Tell us, Yug. Ultra Shamerfu area of effect, Bamboo. Ultra Wah! It's a technique that requires great sacrifice. Everyone involved, including the sword itself, loses heart. No heart? But then he'd have no heart, and how could he- Quiet, Joey. He's doing it. When you let go of heart, you find your inner potential. Sword unleashed, nothing can stop us. Shame for everyone, even the sword. The enemy will be defeated with two injuries and shamed. We will be shamed too, but you can't go lower than we already were. And that's okay, we'll be okay. There are more swords. Well, f me.